let me show you a little demonstration of a more complicated example. Um, so I've got my wooden spoon again. Um, so you'll remember from the last video, we found that with just the wooden spoon, there's a static equilibrium point here where um, the object's center of mass is directly above the support. Next question is, what about a more complicated system? So I'm gonna take two other objects here. I have a little speaker, which incidentally is quite heavy, and I have a much lighter object, this little uh, hollow block. Um, and what I wanna do here is, of course, if I just take one of these objects and place it onto the spoon, this of course is gonna throw off the static equilibrium, and if I release this, it's gonna tip over. Because as soon as I add this block to the system, the center of mass of the system now shifts over in this direction, and now there's a net torque about this axis, and it begins to rotate in this direction. But if I take two different objects and put it on each side, I can find a new equilibrium point, which is around here, right about there, um, where everything is balanced about that point. So nothing here is connected, you'll notice. Um, and the spoon's center of mass is now not over the axis of rotation, but yet the system is at static equilibrium. Um, so this is, you know, like in the world of architecture, this would be something similar to like a cantilevered structure or something like that. Um, but anyway, Let's do a problem similar to this, and we will see, number one, how it's possible that this kind of almost seemingly gravity-defying type of structure can work. And then second of all, um, how we can actually solve problems like this uh, using the tools that we have available in the course. So I'll put that in the next video of solving an example problem very similar to this one.